this is not about rushing. This is about sitting and enjoying. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. You might be wondering, where am I right now? Now, let's do one thing. Let me show you around, and then I will explain you everything. We're in a place called El Cajón del Maipo. This is somewhere in the Andes, but this is not our final destination. We're going up, really up, up to 3,300 meters high. And you know what? We're gonna get a glacier and we're gonna shoot it. And then we're gonna take pictures and pictures and more pictures. I'm excited and really am. Let me take this, this image and then we keep moving. We just dropped the car and now we're walking. This is Henrik, my life friend, and we have made so many trekkings together. <laughs> we have explored the whole Patagonia and now we are here in the middle of the Andes Mountains. And I just want to show you this valley around here. That one is El Volcán um, San Jose El Maipo. And I think that is where we are going. And it's called El Morado, the purple glacier, that would be the translation. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the area. It is very cold, I would say, for being where it is just 5 and a half p.m. And I would say uh, we must be around 7 degrees. And we are in Atram, so that's kind of cold for us. Uh, what else? It is very dry. You can feel it in the stones. Um, it's, there's a lot of minerals, you know, in the area. The last thing is that we're also very high. We are about 2,800 meters high, so uh, you can feel it in the air. It, it, it takes you a long breath to walk with the back, uh, backpack, which are kind of heavy, and keep going. So, yeah, we'll do it, and I will stop filming because I have filmed too much, and my battery is almost dying. Okay, we just got to our camping site. We are 3,300 meters high, but look at that glow. Look at that, oh my God, so beautiful. I have to say, I have never come here before. And I am so amazed by the place. It's, it's just brilliant. I don't have words to say. Let me, Woo! oh, we're like a go. I just dropped everything. I'm going, coming with my, simply with my camera, the polarizer, and myself. And we're gonna go into that stone over there. Just waiting, waiting for me to get there. Oh, just imagine how good is this for me to run at 3,300 meters high. Before the light goes, we gotta take this beautiful sunset. Oh, I'm so tired. We're gonna need the 18 millimeters. This is a wide uh, shot. There's no need for more than 25 
18 mils, no more than that, okay? Everything else, it is useless. I never thought when I woke up early this morning that I was gonna be lucky enough to have a sunset like this one. We're gonna put the polarizer, okay? I want the polarizer, it's, it's in. We're gonna shoot this. Oh my God, look at the skies, it's almost floating. So we're gonna put in 2.5 seconds, F10, focusing in the bottom one third, and we shoot. And this is gonna be an absolutely masterpiece. Oh my God, this is not even post process and looks just beautiful. This, I don't know what to say, guys. Thanks nature, in this, now we are in Easter, thanks God, or whoever it is at the top for this, because this, unbelievable. Look at the cloud. Can you see it right there? Right there? I mean, it, that cloud is giving such a tone to this image. It's, and there's, we have this curve here. You see it right there that goes from this little rear and then goes up to the glacier at the top. I understand that YouTube has like a 10 minute staff so it keeps more uh, attractive to people, you know, and more fun and entertainment. But this is not about rushing. This is about sitting and enjoying. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. <laughs> I truly don't know what to say. I mean, I have been waiting now for five minutes since we last, since the last shot. I decreased ISO to 100, and I'm gonna shoot in three seconds, okay? So we have F14, three seconds, so we're gonna have a movement in the, in the clouds, and this is gonna be absolutely beautiful. We're gonna take two pictures here, one to the sky, because it's really exploding. I mean, look at those colors. It's insane. And another one to the glacier, so we have better exposure, and then we will try to stack them together in Photoshop. Huh? Give one, okay, let's see. Okay. I don't know what to say. Absolutely stunning sunset. It is time to go to put the tent, have some dinner and go to bed because tomorrow we are waking up early to have some nice shots. See you tomorrow. <laughs>